If you want to vote in next month's runoff election for Tampa mayor, you need to register to vote right now. Today is the deadline. Make sure to grab your driver's license from your purse or your wallet because you'll need them. Election day is April 23rd. People say they can't stand negative political ads, but studies have shown they can be very effective. And right now, that's being put to the test in the city of Tampa. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser shows you the targeted advertising hitting voters' mailboxes this past week and why the rest of the country may be watching. We try to keep it positive here. Tampa voters don't typically go for negative advertising. In fact, history suggests it's cost some the election. Uh, address the issues and, you know, keep the mudslinging out of it. You can be better for Tampa than someone else, but, but putting someone down doesn't make me think better of you. But this week, this flyer started hitting mailboxes all over Tampa. Mayoral candidate David Straz criticizing his opponent, former Tampa Police Chief Jane Castor, claiming the front runner only knows police work and how to spend taxpayer money. I say it's telling the truth. For his part, Straz sees his ads as factual, not necessarily negative, also touting his own accomplishments as a successful businessman. I think it's just fine because we feel we have to let the voters know exactly what the situation is. Castor's campaign, aware of the ad, released a statement saying Jane Castor has made a point of running a positive and optimistic campaign about her ideas and vision for Tampa. She asked Mr. Straz to do the same and refrain from attacks and negativity too. Unfortunately, he declined. You have to point to some of your opponent shortcomings. Political expert Susan McManus says generally speaking negative advertising while heavily criticized can be very effective. Historically Tampa has rejected it so she says campaign consultants around the nation are watching Tampa's mayoral runoff as a test case of modern day voter tolerance. In short whatever works here expect to see a lot more of in the 2020 presidential race. Every form of advertising and every messaging strategy that was implemented in this mayor's race will be carefully combed over. It may be that David Straz is turning to more critical advertising when it comes to his opponent because Jane Castor had a double digit lead coming out of the general election. It'll be up to Tampa voters whether to embrace or reject that sort of political strategy and they'll have plenty of time to do it. Early voting starts on April 14th, the election itself April 23rd. And McManus says political flyers have become one of the most focused forms of political advertising out there, targeting the mailboxes of people who meet a particular party or demographic.